market retail system developed in db.net and ms access uh, so once you order this project from us you will get a link like this uh, the download link so you have to just click the download link so it will download your project file uh, zip file and you will also get that password to unzip that file So once you unzip it, you will get all the files like this is your source code folder and then there is a there is other file is this installation guide means what are the software you require to run this project you need the visual studio any 2017 higher version crystal report for dotnet and ms access and so you can just click this uh, check this link to download the required software in your system You have to install it and once you install it to download whatever version you want then you go to start your visual studio you will need to do in 2017 so this is the source folder Okay, this is a source folder. It, it, it will have all the project file like that form, report, and everything. So we just copy this part and open Visual Studio, file, open project. We have to open the project folder or solution. Now these are all the forms, uh, project forms. If you want to change any text or anything, so you can just open the form and select any of that component. So we have to change the main. So we want to change the text or anything. I want to change the name of the project. So you can change. And if you want to view the coding, just double click. You will get all the coding here. So here yeah, there is no change is required, but yeah, in your Visual Studio, Crystal Report by default is not installed. So once you first install the Visual Studio, you can check in about Visual Studio. Crystal Report.net framework is required to run this project because all the reports like deal and everything is built in Crystal Report. So Crystal Report is not installed by default. The link is for Crystal Report is given. So once after installing Visual Studio, you have to just uh, download your Crystal Report setup. So you have to use this link and there is a download option is will be available so you have to just click and you maybe register in the download setup and run it once you run it you will get this option and then you can view the report also Right. So once everything is done, so you have to just run the project. Now we have to click on login, select that admin, type the password. Now these are the options like so I want to add a product category. So this is the different product category is there. So I have add in category same mobile. So 
Sigma category will be added here. Here you can change it from there also. Now then this product. So you want to add a mobile phone category. Already added category supply so chain. So product name is one plus Tell set on the four thousand. So set category is mobile phone, auto computer. So we have to change the selling price. So I'll select the project for the product. So twenty nine thousand. So new details will update. So I'm going to search any product. So one plus automatically will search. So whenever you type anything, it will be fully search. Now there is a supplier. So I want to add a new supplier. So same way, you have to click the supplier and then you have to fill the details. Then customer. So I want to add a new customer. Let's say customer name. So I to. It is compulsory like city contact numbers. The new record is added by phone auto com. That's fine. The new record is added by phone auto com. That's fine. Then one plus no different. How many I want? So I want 10 piece. It will come in the purchase price. Okay, then plus set. So I want to search that. So I'll click on search. Before search, uh, you have to type first uh, the bill number, so 20. Now suppose I want to new search 21, so which we have already uh, entered. So I want to edit anything, so I can do the addition. Like suppose quantity 10, no, I want 9. Then the new rate will come. Set. Also, I want to have a sale. So then sell. So you have to click the bill number is automatic come on the customer name. So whatever customer. This is counter sale. So automatically counter sell. And if you want to sell, then you have to click on sell. Or home delivery. Home delivery means so you have to type the customer name also there. Then you have to type the customer name. So I just want to buy this phone. So product name one plus. How much uh, one plus you want? You want two one plus. Then you will to set the record. So I want to print the bill number. So I have to. So I have to type the bill number. Then search. Then print. So the name of the customer everything will come in the bill. Now that we can print the bill. So sale counter sale means suppose customer directly come in the counter. So there is no need of uh, type the customer name directly. You can sell the product. So plus sign, bill number is coming, counter sale. So then plus product, again one plus, so I want to sell one. To sell it there. And now there is a report purchase register whichever so I have purchased from all cost all suppliers it will display all the product so they have purchased one product 
it is coming here so i want to filter by the only the supplier so which was supplier is a1 enterprise it will show here this is a bill number and how many product we have purchased on one bill number it will show now there is something sales register so to whatever sales so say i want to all so i want to view only that particular customer only one sell is there for this particular customer today we have sell in stock register product wise we can view only i want to see one plus product category so i can just search so there is a two entries there it will display if i want to show all product then it will display all product 